everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and this week I am kicking off all my Halloween treat projects. It's towards the end of September, so I think it's time to bring out all those Halloween fun projects. Um, this week I'm using the Best Witches stamp set, and we're going to make this little box that pulls off, has a top that pulls off, and I have put in here um, these little Witch's Brew Kit Kats and two fun little witch fingers. I know my kids love those little witch fingers. So this little box just slides right on top and slides down like that. Okay, so we're going to make the box first. So we're going to make two separate boxes, the, the top and the bottom. Um, they're made the same way, but their measurements are different. And these measurements will be over on a free PDF on my blog, so make sure you hop over there and grab it. Um, the top piece is Rich Razzleberry, and it is, let's see, I'm just looking at my notes, and they're too far away for me to read. <laughs> um, it is ten and a half by three and a fourth. We're going to score it at four and an eighth. That's just one tick mark past four. Four and seven eighths, that's that last tick mark right before five. Um, nine, I thought I moved these over far enough, but I guess not. And nine and three fourths. Now turn it to the short side and you're going to score it at three fourths. All right, for the bottom of the box, we're going to use a piece of basic black that is 10 by two and three fourths. We're going to score it at four, four and three fourths, eight and three fourths, and nine and a half. Okay, and then you're going to turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths. All right, now you're going to want to grab your bone folder, and this is going to help make your your scored lines nice and crisp. And then you're going to take your scissors, and here at the very end, we're going to cut this square off okay this little tab we're going to cut it off and i'm going to cut this tab right here at an angle when i do that i'm going to cut an angle there as well now we're going to cut these score lines and on the square tabs you want to cut the corners off okay so right in the middle of the score line and then snip snip all right i'm going to use tombow today and I'm just gonna put a little bit there. And if you've scored it right, it should lay down flat like that. And then you can get it adjusted where it should be. You can also use tear and tape. You can use Stamp and Seal Plus. Depending on where you live, if uh, it's not too humid, you can even use Stamp and Seal. All right, fold that in half. And we're gonna set, let's set something down in there. I've got some markers. That's gonna kind of hold it down flat while that sets. All right, now the other piece, we're gonna do exactly the same. Okay. Burnish all those lines. And then you wanna cut off this end tab right here. Snip and snip and then snip and cut those corners snip cut those corners I don't know why I always have trouble grabbing those all right a little bit of Tombow fold it over in half like that and then we're gonna fold in the sides and the back and then the front goes last all right so now we've got the box we're gonna let it dry let's see if I can set that down there that'll hold that bottom down let's do let's make our little decoration on the front we're gonna stamp this cute little witch twice. We're gonna stamp her once on here, and then we're gonna stamp her again over here for just the hat. You'll see that she doesn't fit on this rectangle 
enough her hat you know loses loses there's no room for her hat so i'm going to stamp it again cut it off and pop it up like that so it's kind of off the tag so we're going to use um stamp and blends to color her so i'm going to use memento black ink and i'm going to stamp her kind of over towards the right okay see how that got on the table there you got to use your grid paper protect your surface which i did not do all right so there we go okay now we're gonna color her let me pull all my markers over and i'll tell you what colors i'm using as i go let's see i gotta pull my chair over i am a much better colorer when i am sitting all right we're gonna start with her dress i've got granny apple green and we're gonna do dark granny apple green up here at the top of her dress be careful not to color over her hands. I'm using the bullet tip of my marker. I have a lot better control when I use that. Especially in a small space. If you're coloring a big space, I will use that brush end. Okay. Now I'm going to take the light and we'll do the bottom edge here of her dress. All right, for her cape and her hat, I'm going to use Highland Heather. And let's start with light Highland Heather. Color that all the way in. And then I'm gonna take the dark. I'm gonna add some shadow right down here and kind of right along that edge like that. And then I'll go back and just kind of blend those in. Now I'm not gonna color this hat because we're gonna cover it up. So we'll use this hat right here. And I'm gonna start again with my light Highland Heather. I used Rich Razzleberry on the box because the candy wrapper, I felt like that was the purple that matched the candy wrapper the best. We have lots of purples to choose from in the Stampin' Up! color family. Um, but I am using a coordinating purple for her hat, Highland Heather. All right, so now we've got that base coat on there. I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add in some shadow here where it would be behind that band on her hat and up here like that and maybe a little bit like that. And then I'll go back with my light and kind of blend those in. The top of her hat would be the lightest and the outside brim. So now, I'll add a shadow here under the brim, or under the, I'm sorry, the band. Color that. And there we go. Let's blend that in a little bit better. Okay, so now I am going to, well, I have my lids mixed up. I'm going to color the... We'll start with the, the buckle on her hat. I'm gonna do So Saffron, the dark So Saffron. Okay, and then for her hat band, we're gonna use Pumpkin Pie, and I'll start with a light Pumpkin Pie. And we'll come back with our dark. And I think we'll do, we'll go around the edge of the buckle like that, and then down like this, kind of an L shape for the shadow. And then I will take my stamp and blend and blend those all together like that. All right, so now we're gonna move that out of the way. Let's come back over here to this piece and let's do her face. We've got lots of skin tone stamp and blends. Um, I'm gonna just use petal pink to keep it simple. I'm gonna do light petal pink first. 
for her face and her hands and her legs. She's barefoot, this little witch of ours. And then I'm gonna take the dark and just add some little cheeks like that. I'm gonna use crumb cake dark for her hair. Got some little curls over here. She's so cute. She's not a scary witch. All right, for our flames, I'm gonna take dark pumpkin pie and I'm gonna put a little bit of dark down here at the bottom of the flames like that. And I'm gonna take that um, light pumpkin pie, or let's see, I think, yeah, light pumpkin pie. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe it's saffron, I don't know. I think it's saffron, let's try. I think it's gonna blend, yeah, like that. There we go, that's what we want. Okay, very, very cool. Now we're gonna use, let's do the, the logs under her fire in dark crumb cake. Now her cauldron, I'm gonna use basic black, and basic black is very dark. Um, so this is light basic black. And I'm just gonna kind of tap the color on. It's so dark that you won't see any of the lines after you've colored them in. So make sure that you stay on the outside of the fire and on the inside of the cauldron lines. And down here, I just kind of want to tap, tap, tap like that. Okay. Last but not least, let's bring back over our granny apple green and color in those little cauldron bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna cut out her hat. I'm gonna stay kind of right on that line there on the bottom, but then up here, we can kind of leave a little bit of a, a white border. Cut that paper off as you go. That'll help you be able to navigate inside all those little nooks and crannies a little bit better. Our little paper snips are perfect for fussy cutting because they're small and they're sharp. If you try to use large scissors when you're fussy cutting, it's gonna be really hard. So get yourself some of these paper snips and you'll find that it's much easier. Okay, so now we'll put dimensional right there and put that hat right there on her. Isn't she just the cutest? Okay, let's stamp our sentiment. We're gonna stamp that also in memento and we're gonna stamp that on pumpkin pie. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a trimmer, a paper trimmer and we're gonna cut these words apart. So I'm gonna start very carefully cutting the sentence apart like that. And then I can do the rest with my scissors. All right, so I'm gonna leave you've put together like that. And then we'll do, we'll cut apart a spell and on me apart like that, okay? Now let's turn them all over and let's get many dimensionals this time. And, and we'll start right here. You've put a spell on me. And we can readjust them, get them exactly how you want them. I don't want them perfect. I want them kind of wonky. Okay, there we have it. Let's bring back our box and see how this goes. Does it slide on? It should slide on perfectly. Let's put some candy in there. I'm gonna put it so the little witch face sticks up and then we'll get two witch fingers, stick those in there. If you want, you can just put a third candy in there. 
but I'm going to put those little witch fingers. I think that's fun. All right. Now I have cut a piece of our black and white designs, designer series paper, and we're going to put that right on the top of the box. And then I've got this really fun metallic, let's see, let me tell you the official name, mesh ribbon, metallic mesh ribbon. And I'm going to lay it on here like this. And we're going to take some black twine. And I'm going to set, let's set that there, make it nice and tight. And then we'll tie this. Get it right where we want it and then we'll tie it. All right, so let's trim those and definitely trim <laughs> our twine. I can't get it picked up. It needs to be a little bit shorter. And we'll slide that up, get it in the center. And we're gonna adhere our little witch right on top with some dimensionals. And that will keep that in place so it doesn't slide around too much. There we go. And we're gonna put her kind of in the middle between the top and the bottom. There she is. Now you can use any of the black and white design paper that you want. I use the stars here and the stripes there. Um, any of them will work. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure to hop over to my blog, grab the free PDF and check out the other two best witches projects. Happy Halloween, bye-bye.